Okay guys, hey, just giving an update here on what's going on. So as you saw by the last video, the Mazda is going to be down for kind of the foreseeable future. Um, I'm thinking at least until uh, next year, next season, maybe sometime through winter, it'll be finished being like restored. But basically what's happening is it's going to my shop, Adrena Garage. Those are my guys. So they're going to pull the motor. Motor's going to go to a machine shop. They're going to take it apart blueprint it basically measure every single clearance to see where my oil pressure has been going and if nothing's found well you know what new oil pump and back together it's gonna go uh so what i've done in the meantime is i purchased myself a new car it's gonna be an addition not a replacement it's gonna be an addition to the channel addition to me we're gonna build it we're gonna race it we're gonna lop it and uh yeah we're gonna have some fun with it so anyways without much more blabbering and, and you know right to get to the point here it is So, <laughs> what is it? Well, it's red, because red's the fastest color, we know that, but this is a 2007 uh, or 8th gen uh, Honda Civic Si Coupe. So, two-door, small little thing. It's got the almighty K20 Z3 motor. Uh, so, let me just give you guys kind of a walk around on the engine bay. So, K20 Z3, 139 foot-pounds of torque stock, 197 horsepower at the crank. These dyno about 180 wheel horsepower and like 135 wheel torque. Uh, so they're not far off, but they're rated. Uh, this one's got a few mods on it. Um, so it's got a K-tuned three and a half inch intake, which is a fantastic piece. These really do benefit from true cold air intakes. Uh, there's a lot of heat that goes on here. So those short rams over times, uh, at pull after pull, you're gonna heat soak pretty bad. So this is a very nice piece. I'm happy it came with it and I didn't have to purchase that myself <laughs> uh, came with a battery relocation so the battery is uh, down there which is which is nice that's pretty cool um, but anyways it's also got the RDX injectors which is a common upgrade from this platform these engines uh, they run out of fuel just with the stock injectors with with bolt-ons and a tune there they're out of fuel so if you really want to get you know anything crazy with it you need injectors right away RDX injectors are plug and play they're cheap most people just get them from a scrapyard that's what the previous owner do did uh, you splice the connections I'm going to clean this up it is soldered underneath uh, and then just covered with tape for um, insulation purposes so I might heat sleeve that or, or get some some better tape or some Tesla tape I mean even this stuff's not doing too bad but just to clean that up a little so uh, yeah it's got an alpha aluminum uh, alpha what is that skunk 2 racing alpha rad it's a big huge aluminum radiator which is amazing because uh, as you know we're gonna track this thing <laughs> it is on stock wheels it's got the stock header still and the header does a lot for these cars so does the throttle body it's still in the stock throttle body it's got a two and a half inch exhaust to a Borla muffler. Um, so that's right here. And it sounds every bit of Honda as uh, you'd think it would. So that's interesting. Um, it is on stock wheels, stock suspension. Stock suspension is not blown. Uh, stock tires are, uh, or sorry, not stock tires, but the tires that are on here, they're in fantastic shape, but they're all seasons. So those are gonna be getting uh, replaced. We're gonna be going with a 300 Treadwear uh, Firehawk Indy. We're gonna go 225s on this thing all the way around. Uh, 225, 45, 17. Um, so that's what we're gonna do for tires. Um, now let me just keep going over what's included in the car before I, I go over what, uh, gonna do to it so the previous owner he was nice enough to include me this little uh, 12 inch sub so uh, this guy here I'll get a better piece from the uh, better angle up front uh, but this sub here just a little 12 inch nothing too crazy as you can see there it is there interior is incredibly clean previous owner uh, a pretty clean guy he was a detailer and uh, the two owners prior to him were both older guys um, they were in the military and so this thing kind of just sat on their base and it was driven whenever they were around and otherwise not much so it's in great shape uh, came with the Honda Atta Flash Pro which is a thousand dollars Canadian so that uh, basically is a fifth of the price of the car so I'm pretty impressed that he threw that in there really can't complain on that so car is in fantastic shape the previous owner had it resprayed these cars suffer from uh, paint fade the clear coat fades it's kind of a known Honda issue but the previous owner had it repainted so that's why it looks fantastic uh, two three actual spots of rust so I got a little bit of Canadian winter there a little bit of Canadian winter there and then a little bit of Canadian winter on this side now what am I gonna do with this <laughs> what am I doing with this car what's kind of my 
uh, goal or my plan. Well, I bought this thing to be a fun daily driver that I could enjoy on the street while the Mazda's down, and that's trackable. So this car is going to be built for the track, but more so on the daily side. The Mazda might be like a 65, 35, 65 track, 35 street. This is probably going to be like maybe like uh 75 street 25 track or 70 street 30 track i don't know i haven't decided how crazy i'm gonna get with it yet but i do have a list of mods that i'm gonna do right off the bat we're gonna do a throttle body because that's good for power we're gonna do a long tube header either skunk 2 or plm haven't decided yet and then we're gonna go ahead and get the car retuned that should be good for about 220 to 230 wheel, just depending on the health of the motor. It's got 230,000 kilometers on it. That doesn't mean anything with these engines. It might be fine. Uh, it might be on its way. <laughs> but uh, either way, a long block for these things is like $1,000. So I'm not really overly concerned as long as, you know, I change my oil and kind of just stay on top. Uh, the motor should last forever. It's a Honda. Um, <laughs> it's funny enough, the manual, the manual for these cars actually states one quart of oil per thousand miles, 1600 kilometers is normal for burning. So check your oil level every time you get gas. <laughs> I find that quite interesting. Uh, but yeah, so the first things that this thing's getting done on Friday, we're going to do a few things to it. It's getting a brake upgrade. So TX, TSX pads, rotors, calipers, fluid all around. It's going to get rear pads and fluid, uh, and rotors. Um, bleed everything. Uh, the clutch delay is going to be deleted because that thing makes this, uh, you know, kind of sucky to drive. Transmission's in great shape and I want to keep it that way. So uh, we're going to delete all that delay stuff. Uh, but yeah, otherwise that is it. This is going to be the daily slash kind of pseudo secondary track car. These cars are very capable. They're very, very fast. I've had a few people tell me already that uh, <laughs> once I get this thing on track, I'm not going to want to call it a street car anymore but uh we'll see it is a street car that's the point of it it's to be my daily uh i'm gonna winter drive it or that's the plan anyways but if i get the rust fixed i'm not gonna want to run and drive it so we'll deal with that but uh yeah it's a nice little unit it's a ton of fun to drive i'll post the driving video next uh thing hits vtech hard i mean it doesn't do anything uh up until about 6,000 rpm but past 6,000 rpm it's fun it's real fun up there <laughs> so uh yeah uh should be a cool little car to play with on the channel hope you guys like it i don't know i know these things are like what 15 plus years old they're nothing new but they're they're just they're they're great it's it's a fun little car i'm already enjoying it i've had it for three days and i love the thing so it's only gonna go uh go up from here get modified go to the racetrack and hopefully do some work that's it